Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Appendix Ultrasound Reporting. We will see how to write findings and impression for diseases related to the appendix, which mainly includes appendicitis. Here is an example of acute appendicitis. This is the clinical presentation. The patient presented with complaints of persistent right lower abdominal pain and tenderness accompanied by nausea and a low grade fever. Suspected diagnosis of appendicitis. These are the findings. Ultrasound examination of the right lower abdomen was performed using a high frequency linear transducer. The appendix was identified as a blind ending tubular structure arising from the cecum in the expected anatomical location. Then you can write the size of the appendix. You can write the length if possible. And then you can write the diameter. Here it is 1.2 centimeters. And then you can write about mural thickening and increased echogenicity within the appendiceal wall, indicative of inflammation. There was also the presence of fluid filled distension within the lumen of the appendix. After that, you can write about periappendiceal structures and mention localized fat stranding and increased vascularity. In this example, no appendicolith, that is a calcified deposit, was visualized within the lumen of the appendix. Here is the impression for this example. The ultrasound findings are consistent with acute appendicitis, the presence of an enlarged, inflamed and fluid filled appendix along with surrounding periappendiceal inflammation supports the diagnosis. And then you can write, it is recommended to consult a surgeon for further evaluation and consideration of appendicectomy as a definitive treatment. Here is a case of appendicitis with appendicolith. The clinical presentation is almost similar to the previous one. This patient had anorexia. These are the findings. You can start by writing which type of transducer was used. Then you can write about the visualization of the appendix followed by the size. And after that you can comment on the appendiceal wall. If the appendicolith is visualized, you can write within the lumen of the appendix an appendicolith was identified as a hyperechoic calcified structure and then you can write the size of the appendicolith. Next you can write about periappendiceal structures where you can mention localized fat stranding and increased vascularity. This is the impression. All the main findings of the appendix as well as the findings of periappendiceal structures are written and in the end surgical consultation is recommended for further evaluation and treatment. Here is a case of perforated appendix. This is the clinical presentation. There was severe abdominal pain in the right lower quadrant, fever, and signs of generalized peritonitis. There was strong clinical suspicion of a perforated appendix. 
these are the findings most of the findings are similar to the ones we saw earlier in appendicitis however there is a focal defect in the appendiceal wall indicative of perforation there was evidence of free fluid adjacent to the perforated site suggestive of intraabdominal fluid collection these are the comments on periappendiceal structures which showed signs of inflammation including localized fat stranding increased vascularity and free fluid within the right iliac fossa these findings were indicative of peritonitis secondary to a perforated appendix here is the impression the ultrasound findings are consistent with a perforated appendix the presence of a dilated thick walled appendix with evidence of focal perforation and associated free fluid suggests the development of intraabdominal sepsis urgent surgical intervention is warranted for exploratory laparotomy abscess drainage and appendectomy to prevent further complications and manage the intraabdominal infection thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos